Hi everyone, today we have a new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from AK Interactive, it's a 135 scale kit and here we get the Japanese motorcycle, it's not specified which brand but it's called CG125 so as you can see it's a small vehicle and what is interesting is that it is coming as a dual combo so we get two in one, it's written here and in 135 scale it might be useful for some diorama ideas I guess the figurine is also included, I think it was even written here somewhere so that's something what we will be checking together with you and the kit number is here, it's AK35027 it should be already available, so in case you are, cannot wait, you can order it directly from official AK website. So the packaging is surprisingly small, but after all it's a 135 scale uh, motorcycle, so that's why the box size is also quite small. We have quite nice box art here. On the side you can also see the decals map and also the P parts. We also have two versions of the dashboard and here on the opposite side you can see some safety advices on the rear side you can see also the marking options but obviously you're not limited with this you can replicate something different if you would like to and i think this this subject is something where you can play a bit with some weathering ideas and some other stuff so the packaging is quite unusual as you can see i have one flap here and then another here and because this is a two-in-one kit I will show you only one set of parts, I guess there is no need to show the same parts again and again and I just need to see what we have here. Maybe it's not two kits because I'm looking at the parts and it's actually parts for one motorcycle. Maybe what they meant is that you can replicate two versions of the motorcycle so that's why we get two in one. Nevertheless, uh, we start with the frame E here. So this is the figurine and that's the first positive sign here because the figurine of the rider will be actually useful for some diorama ideas and in 135 scale figurines are always welcome. And as you can see the parts division is typical for such thing in the scale and the overall sculpting quality is also looking good so I don't think you have any issues here. Next we continue with the sprue D and here we have parts for one of the versions as you can see the five spoke wheels and also this uh, circle or dashboard so all of these parts look neat and in 135 scale I guess it will be a bit of a challenge to get the nice paint finish in case you would like to build the proper a clean motorcycle. If you would like to build a beaten up thing then I think it should be faster and quicker. Then we continue with more parts on the sprue B. So here you can see also the square dashboard and again the parts are really tiny so here is comparison with my fingertip. It might be a good idea to use some tweezers with this because otherwise it might be a bit tricky as well. And as for the tires, these are not vinyl. This is really good. They are plastic as you can see and they should be assembled out of two halves unfortunately. So we have the guiding elements so I think it's uh, something what can be done quick. And also here we have some minor parts for the suspension I guess and also for the steering bar. Okay, next we continue with the large plastic sprue, I guess this is the biggest one, it's the frame A, so I would suggest I will not zoom out for now so that you can see all of these parts, so here we can see the one piece fuel tank and also the seat part which is also one, uh, one piece, the same can be said about the front fender and even the steering bar uh, is also one piece, exhaust is here, the main frame is combined with an engine, so also quite a small design so that you don't have to waste your time trying to align this between each other and then we also have some parts for the uh, this, um, side guards and also some suspension parts here and if I flip over these parts we have also some guiding elements here and there so quite a small design and I think even though the item itself is quite small again here is comparison with my fingertips the frame is really tiny but I think all of these parts should be easy to handle as long as you pay attention to how they should be installed and you do some dry fitment because I think with such tender structure it's very very important. So this is for the grey plastic spruce but it would be strange not to get the clear frame here as well. So here it is, we have the lenses, we also have some parts 
for the tail lights here and it's really a nice molding quality but of course we do not have any masks included here so in case you would like to get a really nice paintwork you have to do it with your own hands and tools and cut your own masks and now i'm opening the resealable plastic bag so just give me a second i will take a look at what is actually supplied here so first of all we have here the p parts what is rather surprising for the motorcycle but then when you see that you can replicate the version with the uh, spoke wheels so that's why you need those p parts because otherwise in plastic they will be too thick i think even here they are not that thin so it's up to your decision whether you are fine with those parts but they should be okay for out of the box uh, detailing and next we have also decals and for the decals it is interesting that we have the full letter and number registry here so it might be useful for the license plates i guess and also here we have some decorations for the fuel tank and also gorgeous for the dashboard so all of this stuff is useful for both versions and of course uh, this dials choice will depend on which dashboard you pick for your motorcycle but in order to understand how to assemble it we have here the cover printed assembly manual so i'll just zoom out a bit close the lenses so that you won't be blinded by the white pages so as you can see we have the box art image on the cover then on the next page we have the caution node we have the parts map and assembly process starts with wheels so it's quite interesting that they show that the p parts should be slightly concave maybe they will be done this way with help of the plastic part inserted in the middle but there is no template that's what i'm hinting at next we continue with the front wheel fender and also the main frame being assembled next here you can see the wheel combined that's the rear wheel being combined in between the uh, frame bars or frame halves if we can put it this way and also here we install the fuel tank the steering bar and the seat part and the exhaust as well so as i said you don't have to use the original plastic parts you can try to do your own custom build and i think this is actually the coolest part of this kit because you can try to experiment a bit and build something different here you can see by the way the motorcycle with the square headlamp but and we also had the case and the lens for the circular one as well here we continue with the leg rests the motorcycle stand and again we have several options and then we have also some PE parts to be installed oh it's a key replicated with the PE part this is a really neat touch and here we continue with uh, more parts being added on the mainframe you can also add this uh, special rear base for the luggage it's also an option obviously here we have another option of the wheel assembly so this is the five spoke wheels and again pretty much the same sequence but we have the circular headlamp so this is exactly what i was talking about and all other steps are pretty much the same so uh, it's either this or that for example central stand then we have also some options for the side view mirrors and etc etc so it's quite a, a customizable build even the rear lights can be changed even the license plate can be changed so and here you can see two options compared together so the different dashboard the different headlamp different wheels it's really cool and here we have also the profile views so overall this is a cool kit for a reasonable price in 135 scale it might be a good choice for some diorama build and it should be already available on official ak website of course i will be happy to hear your opinion so do not forget to write it here in the comment section below and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye